Under fire from Russian forces and facing an existential threat, President Vladimir Zelensky has asked that Ukraine be granted immediate EU membership. But despite the state backing of several ministers of the European Parliament, head of state and even European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen says such support is largely symbolic. Now the process of joining the EU is long. It's complex and requires the unanimous agreement of all 27 member states. The EU ambassadors are discussing Ukraine's membership bid. And for more on this, let's go across to our correspondent, Rosie Bersha, joining us live from Brussels. Rosie, thank you for joining us right now. What can you tell us about the EU membership of Ukraine? It's a long procedure. That is the reason that was cited last time. What can we expect going forward? It is certainly generally a very long procedure to join the European Union. The last country to do so was Croatia, and that was 10 years after it originally submitted its membership bid. We know that last week, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky signed an application to join the European Union, and that has been received by the European Council. That is the 27 uh, European Union member states. However, as you mentioned, it's not usually a simple process, and it, it looks like this time it will not be either. European mm. Union ambassadors here in Brussels are in talks behind closed doors about this this morning, uh, but we don't expect them to comment on this any further. We do know EU heads of state and government will discuss this later in the week in France when they'll meet for an informal summit. Mm. We certainly don't expect any quick decisions, uh, despite several EU countries having expressed backing for a fast-track procedure. All right. Now, the European Union has also asked the UN nuclear watchdog to safeguard Ukraine's nuclear plants. What can we expect on that front? Well, we know uh, that French President Emmanuel Macron had a phone call with uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin yesterday, uh, where he urged uh, the, the safety standards from the International Atomic Energy Agency must be upkept in Ukrainian nuclear power plants. That's, of course, after an attack on a Ukrainian power plant on Friday that really sent shockwaves through the European Union. Uh, now, we heard from the French readout of that call that Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, said he has no intention of targeting nuclear plants and that he is open in principle to discussing this with the uh, International Atomic Energy Agency and Ukraine uh, moving forward. But we are expecting to hear more from the International Atomic Energy Agency this afternoon mm -hmm. when their board of governors is meeting. We should hear more on that going forward within the next few hours. All right, Rosie. Also now, this has of course triggered a refugee crisis. Some estimated 5 million people are uh, set, uh, estimated to be displaced. What do you have to say about that? Well, the EU development ministers are meeting currently. They were not supposed to be talking about Ukraine, but as this humanitarian crisis unfolds, it has been put at the top of their agenda. The EU's top diplomat, Josep Borrell, said on the way into the talks this morning that the EU should prepare to host five million Ukrainian refugees, those people fleeing the conflict. We know from the United Nations that more than 1.5 million people right. have already fled into neighboring countries, many of them in the European Union, for example, Poland. But one country that really appears to be in the eye of the storm here is Moldova, which is a, a neighbors Ukraine and is one of Europe's poorest nations. So we've had pledges of support to Moldova from the European Union and also from the United States as it struggles to cope with the, the real humanitarian impact of this war as it uh, these neighboring countries around Ukraine try to deal with this influx of right. people who have experienced, of course, in many, in many occasions, very traumatic things. Right. Absolutely. Rosie, thank you for joining us with all your inputs. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.